Hey guys, I'm Lugina, and welcome back to Tread Chic. So this is week two of our Journey to 5K program, and I hope you enjoyed week one. Now remember, I hope that you did that three times last week, at least three days. So choosing three days, pick sticking to that, and then moving on to week two. I wanna make sure that you're fully prepared to do this, and I want you to do it the right way so that you have a good time with it, you take your time, you don't tire yourself out too much, um, because that's the fear, right? I don't want you to get too tired and say, forget it, I don't want to do this, and then never come back again. So we're going to slowly build, again, week one, this is week two. Again, I want you to complete this three times a week. So perhaps you can pick Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, whatever works best for you. Just get it in, make sure you slowly ramp up before moving on to the next, okay? I'm excited to have you here. We're going to have a great time. Before we move on to the warm up. I want to sort of give you some guidelines in terms of speed. I know last week I gave you some sort of range, but I wanted to give you some more some specifics um, as we continue on to help you with your beginning pace as you start your journey as a runner, okay? Or your journey back, whichever it is, okay? So I like to call, I like to start off with your transition pace versus your baseline pace. And I'm going to also link, put a, a box, there's gonna be a box that appears that is gonna pop up to show you how you should set your pace. I want you to be around your tr your um, transition pace. And your transition pace is a pace where if you turn the treadmill on, if you start walking, okay, let's start walking. And I start walking and I increase my speed. It is the pace that as I'm walking, 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 it is the pace where I finally get to run, okay? So that is your transition pace. You're transitioning from walking to running, okay? So that right there, let's say that was, a, I started um, running at a 4.0. So that would be my transition pace. I transitioned from walking to running at 4.0. My baseline pace would be 5.0, okay? So that's what we're doing today. I want you to be in between those numbers, in between your transition pace and your baseline pace. And so you may be in the beginning, you may be at the closer to your your baseline, your, you may be closer to your transition pace in the beginning, and then as you get warmed up, you may be closer to your baseline pace and maybe even higher. I want you to start off slow. We don't want that lactic acid to build up, you to get tired too quickly, and then again to stop slowly build but I want you to be around your transition pace to start if you feel like that's too quick and you need to take it down but again remember you're transitioning there so that is your slowest speed I want you to start there and then you can slowly and gradually build but start off around your transition pace and as we keep going throughout today and future weeks you will be using that's your your baseline I want you to be in that is the, what you're looking at that's your baseline in between that transition pace and that baseline, that baseline number. Okay, so those are the numbers I want you to play with. Again, starting off at your transition pace. If you feel like, oh, this is so slow, I can't do this. Again, pick it up. But if you feel like, oh, this is this is good, I want you to start up there. Okay, make sense? Sounds good. Okay, so let's start off with our five-minute warm-up, and then I'm gonna tell you everything that you need to know about today's workout. Okay, so let's start out. I'm glad you're back for week two. I'm gonna start off, my speed is gonna be around a two, okay? So you wanna be around there. Again, we're warming up, okay? Shrug our shoulders back, feel good. We're gonna get ready to have a good time. I want you to enjoy this journey, okay? Because as we have this journey to a 5K, my hope is that you continue to go further, whether it be with a 10K, half marathon, but even if you stay at 5K and just do this, I want you to enjoy this. I don't want it to be this process where you're just like, oh, I can't stand this. I want you to gradually build so that this is a fun journey for you. Not anything where you're just, again, tired and fed up of it, just fed up with it. And we're building our endurance. So this is not about speed. If you're already there, then obviously this, is, this isn't the program for you. This is for those that are really 
trying to go from walking to, 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 to jogging to running, from walking to running, okay? This is for you. And so we're gonna slowly build on our endurance, okay? Slowly build that up so that you have that they're working on our lungs, working on our breathing, so that we can get to the next level, okay? But my, my goal is to have, make sure you have a good time with this, okay? All right, I'm excited. So, again, I'm gonna increase a little bit more to get my legs, get that blood flowing through my, through my body, feeling good, getting warmed up, okay? Now, I know I'm talking way too much, and you want to know what we're doing today. So we're gonna start off with one minute on, one minute run, and then a two minute walk, okay? And we're gonna do that 10 times, okay? So again, we're gonna do a one minute walk, two minute, um, sorry, one minute run, two minute walk, okay? And we'll do that 10 times, okay? And at the end, we'll go for our run, we'll increase like a bonus type round, just like last week, you can either do it or you're, you don't have to do it. So we're gonna just try it out, see what you can do, and that's it. All right, let's go. So good, again, this only up less than 40 minutes here. This work is gonna be 30 minutes plus that bonus, okay? So we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna enjoy ourselves, and that's it, okay? All right. And, um, you know, it's always something when you start to do something like this. Running is not something that is an easy thing, especially when you're starting, because you're breathing. If you're, if that's sort of off, you feel like, uh, it, it, it's so uncomfortable as your body adapts to it. But I promise you that if you stick with this, stick with me, that your breathing will get better. Now, some of you may be asking, how do I even breathe? I'm having difficulty with that. So there's no right or wrong way, but the way that I, well, there is. I don't want you to be, <laughs> you don't want to be doing that. But in terms of, I like to call it, I like to refer or talk to my clients about a two step and a three step thing. So you can either do step, step, breathe, step, step, breathe, or step, 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 breathe, step, 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 breathe. Now it depends on what your stride is like, how you're feeling, and I typically do a step, step, breathe, step, step, breathe. And when you're doing this, when you're especially when you're when you're outdoors, you're you're breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, and it's okay for your mouth to be open. And you breathe, so open a bit. You're not like <laughs> sitting there like this, but you're breathing. Step, step, breathe. Step, step, breathe. Step, step, breathe. Or plat, 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 three, plat, 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 three. Okay? Alright. So if you have any questions about that, I want you to let me know. But we're about to crush this. We're gonna have a good time. We're motivated and I'm excited that you're here for week two. Okay? Going all the way to week nine together. Okay? Alright, so we have 30 seconds and we're going to start to run for one minute. Then we have a two-minute walk. Take a deep breath in, hard, out through your mouth. Again, deep breath in, out hard, through your mouth. Enjoy this. Again, we're gonna start off at our your transition pace. I'm gonna go slower here, nice and weak. We're gonna go here, we're gonna start off slow, and then we're just gonna do our thing, okay? So let's start off at our transition pace, whatever that is for you, okay? Everyone is different. You're not copying me, you are doing you. Your race, your pace. Let's go, one minute. Right, one minute here. Now, you wanna make sure that you see me going at a nice, comfortable pace. All right, feeling good? We're 25 seconds in, you feeling good? All right, good. Now you may feel like you can increase. And increase as long as you're not going too fast too soon okay we have 20 seconds left just like that looking good shoulders down arms 90 degrees 10 seconds left five seconds three two and one 
Good. Two minute walk. Now, now that you've done that, I want you to think about your form, your posture. So I want you to have your arms at 90 degrees. You're not crossing over like this, okay? 90 degrees. You wanna be light with your hands. You don't wanna be clenched in, raises your blood pressure. That's just not efficient, okay? It's as if you're holding little baby chicks, something very delicate in your hand, okay? Very light, okay? Arms 100 degrees. We're not clenched up. We're breathing. That air is coming in, going through our body, okay? So we're making sure well, everything is open. Everything's open, okay? So, not clenched up. Relax. Our body is pulled up as if someone is pulling us up with a string. But we are leaning in, leaning with our um, chest, all right? But again, we're not slumped over. We're not like this. We're straight, leading with our chest. And don't forget having a good time, okay? And just like that, we have 40 seconds left and then we're going into number two out of 10, okay? So we're gonna feel good. Again, you may be at your transition pace, but moving closer to your baseline pace. All right, I want you to play by ear, all right? We're gonna do this. Are you ready? Are you doing good? See, this is, you're doing great. I'm so proud of you, so proud of you. We're doing this together, okay. And then soon, you'll be doing my HIIT workouts. I can't wait for that, okay? Because you guys know I have my channel with the hit, and I'm glad I'm adding this to it. Okay, so in five seconds, we are starting. Let's go, one minute. All right, one minute. Looking good, breathe. Step, step, breathe. Step, step, breathe. Breathe. Okay? You do what works for you, but I want it to be, I don't want it to be like, <sighs> don't want that. You want it to be more controlled, okay? All right. 20 seconds. Yes, we got it. Hey, hey, 20 seconds. Not even anymore. 15 seconds. <laughs> All right. 10 seconds. All right, in five seconds, three, two, and one. Great job. All right, breathe. All right, now, after this, we're moving to number three, just like that, see? Before you know it, you're gonna be at number 10. Now, this is what I wanna tell you. You're gonna be doing this this week too. Now, if you're like, my goodness, I can only do about four today, then I want you to do four. Tomorrow you might do six. Then after that you might do eight to eight to ten. This is what I want, that's what I want you to do. Now, also, if you feel like you're doing week two and you need to do week two for two weeks, I want you to do that. I want you to use each of these classes and start at your level. If you feel like, oh my gosh, I really need to take my more time with it, I want you to do that. This is again, I say this, your race, your pace. You're not racing against anyone but yourself. This is your time. I may be saying, hey, do this three times, but you may feel like week two needs to go on for two weeks and do it like five or six times. It all depends on you. There may be someone else that just needs to do it twice to move on to week three. I don't, I recommend you do it three times, but each person is going to be different in their journey, okay? All right, so just like that, because I talk so much, we just have 30 seconds left to get to step three, okay? We're warmed up, we feel good, all right? In 20 seconds, we are going to start running. This is number three, three of 10, okay? How you doing? Good? Perfect. And three, two, and one. Let's go. Feel 
feeling good. Shoulders light. You're like gliding, feeling good. You can increase. You feel like, you know what? I can go up one or two. I want you to do that. We're building on our endurance. We're not speeding through anywhere. We're gonna get to that 5K. I believe in you and I'm excited to do this with you. All right, let's go. We have 20 seconds. You've got it. Breathe. If you feel like it's too much, take down the speed. All right? All right, we have three seconds left. And let's go. Good job. Okay, we're gonna keep a fast paced walk, okay? Nice fast paced walk. And then we're going into number four, okay? Good. Hey, I love it. All right, so. Number four coming up. In a minute and 30, okay? That fast, nice, fast paced walk. All right, arms 90 degrees. We have about a minute and five seconds left until we run again. Going into number four. Like I said, if you feel like you know, you're know you gonna stop at five or six, I want you to do that. Next time you come in, you're gonna try to do a different one, another one, okay? Trust your body, but also don't be afraid to be challenged a bit, but watch yourself. Don't want any injuries or anything like that. I want you to understand the difference between pain and discomfort. Now, if you're in excruciating pain, I don't want you to continue. But if it's that discomfort, where you know change is happening, which is like that little burning feeling, you know that feeling when you put things and it's like a, a burning type thing, or anything you're doing, after that discomfort is when that change happens. So sometimes we need to push yourself a little few more seconds. That's okay, challenge. All right, let's do this. In about five seconds, we are going to do it for a minute. Set number four. Oh yeah. Number four. Feeling good, arms 90 degrees. We're working. Doing a good job getting ready. Number four, you're looking great. All right. We have 30 seconds. All right. And if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed yet, please. Please subscribe and share, share the workouts with others, okay? 10 seconds. Five, three, two, and one. All right, great job. Two minute walk, okay? Hydrate. Feel it good. Now, we're going into number five. Run number five. After this, we have about one minute and 30 seconds, and then we're going into number five. How are you feeling? Strong? Little by little, okay? We're building. If you feel like, oh, you feel so, you don't feel as strong as you like, that's okay. You're just starting. You're going to keep coming back until you feel that. Consistency is the key. This is, no one ever said this was gonna be easy, but with consistency, I'm, I promise you, you'll get this done. Unless there's some other issue going on, typically, when you do this with consistency, you start, you keep running, you keep going, you will do this, and you will be successful, all right? I know you can be. 
All right. Now, no pain, no gain, remember? I'm talking about discomfort, not that pain where you have knee pain and other things, okay? I will, in the info section below, I'm going to add information about running shoes because that is also an important factor when you are running. This is something that you're going to be doing. You have to make sure you have the right shoes because if you don't, that could lead to other issues like shin splints, etc. So I'll leave some info below, okay, so that you can um, take a look at that. All right, 10 seconds. We are going into run number cinco. All right, three, two, and one. Let's go. One minute here. We've got this. We are here together. I'm not leaving you. I'm here, okay? I'm proud of you. Be strong, breathe. Great job. 40 seconds left, okay? We've got it. Strong, breathe. You don't have to be talking like me. I've been running for 20 years, okay? All right, 20 seconds. You've got it. You are changing with every step you take. We've got this together. Journey to 5K and beyond. 10 seconds. Yes, you've got it. We're here. Hey, three, two, and one. Let's go. Great job. All right, now we are walking for two minutes and then heading into number six. Okay, great job. You're looking good. Okay, amazing job. Breathe, breathe, breathe. All right. So we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. All right. All right, we have about a minute and 10 seconds. All right. Looking good. Stay focused, stay strong. Bonus number six, okay? You got it? You with me? Let's go. In 30 seconds, we are about to hit number six. Go us, go, go, go us. And I'm dating myself with trying to do the running man. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right. So, in 15 seconds, we are about to do this for a minute. Number six. You're already at number six. I know. I know. I'm proud of you. All right. Let's go in five seconds. Three, two, and one. Let's go. One minute, okay? You got it. Number six, you've come this far. You're not stopping now. Let's go. All right, 45 seconds left. Stay with me, you've got it. If it's too much, take that speed down. Or you start walking again, okay? I want you to try your best every time you come in to push a little bit more. Relax those shoulders. Breathe. 20 seconds. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. We've got it. Two and one. Woohoo! Great job. All right. Okay, hydrate. It's important to make sure you hydrate. Stay 
so important. And of course, I didn't get to talk about your towel and your water to make sure you remain hydrated. Your body functions best when you're hydrated. If you're thirsty at all, that means your body's already dehydrated. So make sure you're having enough. Typically they say is half your body weight in ounces, okay, that you should be having. But I like to say at least 64 ounces, so at least eight cups during the day, all right? Now, we have a little more than one minute until we do number seven. We are at the home stretch. And then at the end, we're gonna have that bonus minute 30. Let's see how we do, okay? Again, it's just a bonus to see, okay? So you can monitor your progress as you do this during the weeks. All right, so we have 45 seconds. We're having a good time. Let's act like we're walking on that runway. Let's go as we get ready. We get ready to run for another minute because we've got it and we're feeling so confident. We're feeling so good. Yes, watch me trip as a accent. <laughs> I'm kidding, wouldn't that be funny though? No, not really, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to say. Okay, so in 25 seconds, we are going. 20 seconds now. All right, 15. We're going for number seven in 10 seconds. All right, okay, let's go. In five seconds, we're doing it. Number seven, let's go. All right, one minute, you've got it, I'm here with you. All right, 45 seconds left. Standing up where we should start at the beginning, and then you know where to sort of start and stop, um, or how to continue, where to begin. So it sort of helps you, it helps you with that. All right, but then you know as you continue where you need to be, okay? All right. In 15 seconds, we're about to do this again in 10 seconds. All right? In five, three, and two, one, let's go. One minute, number eight. All right. Woo, 45 seconds left, okay? 
okay? You're here with me. We got it. We're enjoying this. We're on a beach somewhere, running through the sand, looking at the views. Just excited. We think about during this time that I'm recording this, we are in the middle of a pandemic, COVID. It is December 2020. And I want you to imagine going on vacation and thinking about how great that is. You're out there, wherever you are, running through the streets, feeling good because when you get there, when you're finally able to, you're gonna be a runner. You are now, because you're with me. All right? Five seconds left. Three, two, and one. Woohoo! Great job! Oh boy, so proud of you. Going to number nine. All right? Great job. So, we have number nine is coming up. Part of you, right? Mm. Two more left. Okay, nine and ten. And then our bonus round. That's better, that's, that's kind of corny. Not fast enough. That drum, I was trying to do a drum roll. If you didn't make it, if you didn't know what I was doing, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get a drum roll going because the, the bonus round, you don't get it. That's, that's okay. <laughs> it, it was kind of awkward. <laughs> All right. So we have one minute left. All right. And I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're feeling proud of yourself. All right. And soon, you'll be running this whole time. One day, as you continue to go, you'll be doing that, okay? So I want you to think of building your body with tiny building blocks, tiny building blocks until we get, this is, a, this is not, there's no final destination, this is a journey. So it's five can be on, it's a journey, okay? All right, so 30 seconds left. And we are going for number nine. You're looking great, you are strong, you can do this, okay? 20 seconds. Right. In 10 seconds. All right. Three, two, one. Let's go. One minute here. Number nine. Got it. Looking good. Strong. Little by little. You got it. I know that you're working hard. I'm gonna keep pushing. 35 seconds, okay? You've got it. You feel like it's too much? Try to decrease the speed before stopping, okay? We have 20 seconds left. 15. 10. Got it. Three, two, and one. Woohoo! Number nine! All right. Great job. All right. Now we have one number 10. Just like that, you are about to be done, okay? So proud of you, I'm so excited for you. I hope you are excited about this week too. Again, three times this week. I'm sorry you have to listen to me three times this week, but I hope I motivate you through this. I hope you're having a great time. The only thing I wish is that we could have like this DJ, like this booming music to just like really motivating us. Instead, we have to have music in the background and it can't be like really music that's in today right now but play your own music and listen to me or listen to what i have okay all right one less than a minute and we're going to number 10. so proud of you and then we'll walk and then we're going to go for that minute 30 at the end okay
All right. You are looking great. We have 30 seconds left. And then we're going for the final minute, okay? Yes, final minute, number 10. I bet in the beginning you're like, what? 10 times? But look, you're here. We made it, you made it, you're here with me. We did this together, all right? All right. Let's go, last minute. Let's go, let's do it. Last minute. Stay strong. You're here with me. We've got it. Thirty seconds. You're here with me. Let's do it. We've got it. We can do this together. We're here. Watch those shoulders. Relax. 20 seconds. Three. Sorry. 10 seconds. Sorry if you thought you were done. Almost there though. Five seconds. Three. Two. And one. Yay! You did it! You did it! Great job! So now, Two minutes, we're gonna walk, and then we're gonna go for a minute 30 run, okay? If you feel like you're done, I want you to just walk through the minute 30, just get a good cool down before we stretch. But if you like, I wanna try it. Let's go together, okay? This is just a, a bonus, okay? You've already done amazing. You did it, okay? Let's get, we had 30 minutes in. You did an amazing job, all right? I'm proud of you. Okay, so in a minute and 10 seconds, we're going to work and get to that bonus round. One more minute, you ready? Who's with me? Yes, all right. And if you're walking through it, that's okay, because we're here together, and maybe you'll, you'll try it soon, all right? Maybe on day three, you'll try it. I'm here waiting when you are, ready to do it, okay? Okay, let's get ready. Are you ready? In 30 seconds, we're gonna go for a minute 30. If you feel like, again, I'm gonna tell you, if a minute is enough, you wanna stop, 30 seconds, and you want to stop, whatever. I'm just here with you doing it so you can try it, okay? You're looking good. All right? Now, in 10 seconds, we are doing this. Five seconds. All right, three, two, and let's go. A minute 30, we got it. Right. Looking good. We are 15 seconds in, okay? Just take it easy. We're enjoying ourselves. We're not going fast. Just enjoying. You may decide, hey, I want to go closer to my transition pace or your, your baseline pace or higher or lower. Stick with me. You're here. Doing a great job. We have 50 seconds left, all right? If you need to, increase your speed. Again, do so. Try to stick with me. It's not gonna last long. It's gonna go by rather quickly because we only have 35 seconds left. I know. Breathe. We have 25 seconds and then done. Woo! Yes! We've got it, 20 seconds. 15. 10 seconds, hey! Five, 
four, three, two, and one. Yeah, yeah, and the crowd roars, roars. Great job, great job. High five, boom. Great job. Proud of you. Got this done. Oh, oh, good job. Okay, now we're gonna get that heart rate down so that we can stretch, okay? Feeling good? Again, I'm proud of you. Thank you for sticking with me. Week two, we got this in the bag, okay? You keep coming back, all right? All right. So, you know, I was telling you I've been running for 20 years. I started running when I was about, gosh, maybe over 20 years. But I started running when I was 18. And um, yes, definitely like 22, I've been running for like 22 years. So, um, I was heavy, um, or I had gained a lot of weight my freshman year of college, and I was home. And I started running. My dad got me into walking and I started running. But it wasn't easy. I enjoyed it. And I love to see how my body progressed. But in the beginning, especially, oh my gosh, you feel like your your lungs, it's just, it's hard, right? And But again, you just stick with it, okay? Consistency, consistency is your friend. Every day, every other day, you practice a little bit more. I'm not telling you to run every day. I mean, just whether it be with stretching or whether it be with walking, just continue to move your body, okay? Continue to move your body, okay? Breathe. Breathe in, hard. Breathe in through your nose, not hard through your mouth. All right. All right, shoulders back. It's good. All right. I'm gonna walk for a little longer. And again, we're gonna have some static stretches, just like in the beginning. We can walk, or we can do those dynamic stretches that we did during week one. So it's good to do those, um, do those in the beginning, okay? Usually with these classes, I just do the five minutes of warm-ups. But before you start off, Make sure, those dynamic, if you wanna do those before you start, you know, do that. Each person's body's different. You may need even more stretching, but because of the whole with timing and YouTube, I can't have everything on here all the time in terms of timing of the videos. Um, I'm gonna keep it to a certain length. But before you start, by all means, please do even more stretching. Dynamic again in the beginning and static at the end, okay? Even after we were here, if you feel like I need to do some more stretching, if you want to use a roller and stretch some more, I want you to do that, okay? This is having, enjoying this journey. I don't want it to be like, oh, I can't stand this. I want you to enjoy this with me, okay? At least get to that point, all right? All right, let's stop. We did it, yay! So hard for high five. We did it, okay. Now let's stretch, get a quad stretch in. Again, static so we can hold it. Um, and I want your knees close together, okay? Because that's when you really feel the stretch. If you're not there in terms of flexibility yet, little by little, okay? Hold on to something and try to get your knees to touch because that's when you feel the stretch the most in your quad. Hold this. And again, at the end, if you want to continue to do that, please do, okay? All right.
Hold it. All right, come up. And again, I want you to continue doing this, okay? Come down low. down okay let's go this way and we're gonna come down your knee and I want okay so come up hands palms down and come up on your toe the other foot on your heel and the other and come up your chest is on your knee okay and come up and just stretch so that feels good Right, come down, other side. Again, your chest is on your, your, your quad area here, not really on your knee. And then lift up, lift up the toe of that other leg. The other foot is flat, and just stretch. You feel that stretch all throughout. Feel that. Hi! It's just easier for you to see me if I turn the other way with this. All right, so you can bounce and feel that. All right, come up. All right, so arms up and come down and forward. Oh, feel that stretch in your back. Come up, stretch out, shrug those shoulders back, 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 up, down, stretch for the back, those legs, push down. Hold it. Maybe you can hold onto the edge of your treadmill. You feel the stretch in the back of those legs. All right. And come up slowly. Shrug those shoulders back. Stretch out that back. And again, please keep stretching. Guys, you did an amazing job today. Thank you for joining me during week two. If you have any questions, please always feel free to email me. My email address is below, but it's treadsheet at gmail.com if you have any questions, okay? Wishing you all the best. I'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye. Great job today, okay?